My name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I'm gonna explain how can we monitor a docker resource consumption through Grafana. So before just getting into the demo part let me just divide the complete process into the small small processes which we need to do to just set up the complete monitoring on a Grafana for the docker resource consumption. So the very first thing which we have to do is we have to capture data points for any running container and the resources which we gonna cover which we gonna sh which we gonna show in this video is cpu utilization right so i have already created a one video and i will be providing a link into the description below which you can see and for capturing a data points and we have to keep in a mind and monitoring, uh, you know, in Grafana, we have to create those data points into the time series manner. So that we have done in one of my video and I can show you the script which we have created in that video is Docker resource consumption as such. Okay, so if you will see here, we are just capturing the CPU percentage. Similarly, you can capture the memory utilization, the block IO or the NAT IO, whatever you want to capture, you can do it. And then we are just appending the time series for all the data points through this command and we are actually eventually creating the Docker resource consumption. So if you will see, watch my video, you will get the sense what we have done in this the next thing which we have to do is once this time series data points get collected for the cpu utilization then you have to import the csv into postgres because why i am just using a postgresql because grafana provide a integration for the postgres sql and it is free resource free open source as well Right. So for that also I have published one video where we uh, built a small script that would actually import all the CSV data into the postgres and this is the small shell script which we had created. There are a lot of hard coded values but you can always if you want to use into the production you can just either you can encrypt the password or you can just pass everything you can just make it complete parameterized parameterize like i mean host and the database name and the user whatever you want to do it you can do it right? it's a standard way if you want to make any script or any program into the production right so we already have seen that how we can create the csv file how we can import the csv data into the postgres right so if i just wanted to show you how that csv data looks like i have this csv data which i just modify a little bit so that we can actually visualize the graph and we have you know this we have time stamp then we have a container id then we have the container name then we have the cpu utilization in percentage right so i just created some dummy data but if you will use my shell script and if you will run it for let's say for one hour you will get that csv for uh, for the data points which you which this shell script is going to collect for the one hour. Now the next part is we have all the data points captured into the CSV we import into the Postgres SQL. Now the interesting parts comes in when we have to set up all the Postgres related data points onto the Grafana. So for that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the Grafana. So I'm assuming that you know how to set up the Grafana. If you don't know, I will be providing a Grafana setup on Linux and a Windows environment into the description part where you will have four links, one for the shell script, which is creating, collecting the data points into the CSV with the time series manner. Then we have, then I will be providing a link for the import CSV file to the Postgres, then the Grafana installation right so now the very first thing which we have to do is we have to create a data source for the postgres okay so what i'm gonna do is i have already created that so i'm just gonna show you that so here what you have to do is name you can choose any name whatever you want to do it and my grafana installation is running on the same machine where my postgres is running so i'm just giving a local host and the postgres is running on 5432 and you can just give the host wherever your postgres sql is where you are just importing your docker container data then this is my docker user database then this is my user and my password i have already set that up you can just set up this very easy it's very easy then you can save and test right so data source has been created the next thing which we have to do is we have to create a dashboard right so creating a dashboard i will just go here click on graph 
and then I just go to the edit okay here what I have to do I have to select a data source and my data source is PostgreSQL then I have to select a table right and for selecting a table what I have to do is so let me just quickly show you the table which okay so for that what I have to do is I have to just log into the post quiz there are many more shortcuts which you can do you can create all those stuff you can create alias then it is asking for password okay so if I just show you what all tables we have so this is the table where I have my data so if I just put table so you will see we have that data and the columns which we have is logging time then we have container ID then container name then we have CPU percentage right and we have total lot of data points right so we have data points I collected for yesterday uh, 10th June 2019 right so if so all these things you can just set up by using my shell script and you can refer my videos and that would help you to just understand how can you do that okay so that part is easy so I have already imported a data right you can use my shell script to do so now the interesting part is I have to select a table and my table is the moment you create that post SQL data source automatically you will see all the tables which we have in the post quiz so the data which I have for my docker containers this is in a docker resource csv file csv then uh, it is saying logging time right okay now it is saying value so this is the column which you have to select like I mean which column you want to select we have cpu percentage okay and this is the column which I want to use and if I just put last six hours no I just wanted to do a data for yesterday and if I just toggle into the edit mode that would give me the okay CPU percentage and if I just put that now that's the only thing which you have to do to just see the setup okay and if I just give last let me just say two days let's see what data we get okay so if I just do this okay so that is how you can it's very simple right but what you have to do is the very first thing which you have to so if I just go back here import CSV into the PostgreSQL then the next thing which you have to do create a data source I already explained you how can you create a data source on Grafana then you have to create a dashboard by using the data source you created and then you have to define your SQL targeting the table in which you imported CSV data right so that is how you can set up you know the docker resource consumption on Grafana so that's it from my side for this particular video it's I know it's a little bit unorganized but if you have any feedback you want to understand anything regarding the shell script which I have built or regarding the videos which I've created where we have developed those script so please feel free to uh, 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 post your question in the comment section and I would I would be uh, more than happy to help you how you can just set that up Thanks for watching this and if you have any feedback or suggestion please feel free to put that in a comment section and I will be more than happy to answer that. And as always keep learning and stay healthy.